And after the eight deaths reported here in the Florida Keys, we now know that two of those deaths happened right here in Key West. And if you take a live look from our drone above, you can see a lot of these neighborhoods were covered in downed trees. Now Key West is starting to dig out even as they run dangerously low on supplies. Days after Hurricane Irma unleashed her fury on Florida, the sweet sound of relief. Military choppers arriving in a Key West strip mall to a line of Floridians desperate for the basics. I was so thirsty. Thank God for, for the Army. Navy crews fresh from helping Hurricane Harvey victims in Texas now providing relief in Florida. And what's it like to be out here helping out? This is why a lot of people join the Navy uh, to do this sort of thing. So it's, it's an incredible feeling. People need water, power, fuel. Cell service has been cut off to most of the island chain. Everything's down and gone. Everything's blocked. The telephone poles are down. The National Guard also out in force, helping wherever they can. It's a devastation out here, so we're taking it street by street. Along the highway, neighbors feeding neighbors. It feels good to be able to help somebody else because this is what we do in the Keys. We help other people. Other parts of Florida are suffering too. Bonita Springs and Middleburg still underwater. We're trying to move assets uh, to those affected as fast as possible. In Jacksonville, soggy and rotting houses. In North Miami, water main breaks citywide, prompting a boil water ordinance. Power crews still working on restoring electricity to millions, while all hands pitching in for the cleanup. But as bad as the Keys and other parts of Florida have been hit, the Caribbean took the brunt of the storm. On Tortola, 90% of homes and businesses gone. Families on Antigua and Barbuda struggling to find basic supplies. <laughs> There's nothing left, she says. Loved ones of all types struggling. On St. Thomas, an 18-hour curfew now in place and long food lines as the Army National Guard distributes ready-to-eat meals. The basics are all people can hope for now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in pretty bad shape. But after surviving the monster storm, people are just grateful to be alive. There's nothing more valuable than your life. And the next step now is a search of the waters here. Officials say after reports that people may have been on board their boats when this storm hit, they now have to send dive teams in to inspect all capsized vessels. Matt and Savannah, back right. to you. Dottie, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.